If your clients do not love you, if they're not raving about you, if they're not referring people to you like crazy, then you are not doing enough for them. And it's not your pricing, it's not the quality of your work, it's really that they don't value you. They don't value you because you're not doing a good enough job explaining what you do for them, the value you drive, and everything that you give them. That's on you. You want to send off client work and you want them to have no feedback because you understood them so well. You want people to go nuts leaving you reviews online. You want people to send you business or, or if they know that you're in a pinch for revenue, they're willing to give you projects that they didn't even think they were going to give you just because they like you so much. That's what you want. And the only way to get there is for you to drive an incredible amount of value, to be able to build relationships, for people to understand how insane the work is that you do for them. And ultimately, you can call this account management, you can call this sales or client service, you can call this whatever you want. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is you are doing your work in your little bubble, they are doing their work in their little bubble, and unless if you sit down and actually share with them your thinking, uh, the work that you've done, how much effort went into it, unless if you share that with them, take them through the story of what you've done, they won't even know why they should care about it. They just, you go away and do something and come back and it's either good or bad, that's all they know. Unless if you take the time to actually explain to them why this is unique, why this is different, why this matters. This is on you and to have a good, strong client relationship, it's not about being a Houdini, it's not about disappearing and then coming back like some kind of magical act. It's about sharing the really interesting and dynamic and creative parts of the process. Whether you're a manufacturer or you're in retail or whether you're in client services or something intangible like banking or marketing or whatever it is, the thinking that goes into what you do, the experience that you give them is so valuable and you have to be able to share that with people. This can be applied to sales, this can be applied to operations. In our business, we do monthly reporting. We report back to the client what we've done. And so when we're doing reporting, for example, we look at like, hey, what's working? What's not working? What have we done for you this month? And, and that what we've done for you includes our thinking. What we're gonna do for you next month, which includes our thinking of, of here's what we're thinking, strategy and everything else, and the value you got for money. That's a story. That's a story we wanna share with the client every single month so they can understand just how hard it is we're working for them. Because if we send over a task list, if we send over a final deliverable without any explanation of the thinking or the work that's got into it, all they see is an hour count and a number, or all they see is a task list, or all they see is the end product. They don't know whether you did a good job or a bad job. They have no idea what went into it and they have no way to actually evaluate if you're any good or not. And so if you want raving fans, if you want clients who absolutely love you, not only do you have to build up this relationship, but you have to share some of these things. People talk about how customers are super cheap with them and not paying them enough money or don't value the work they do. That's because you are not building up enough credibility. You're not building up enough perceived value with the client in order to command the higher prices and in order to be able to go and build the relationship you need to build with the client to get referrals. You know, in our business, we don't do this well all the time. There are clients where we really hit it off with and clients where we just kind of don't mesh up or they don't really get us or we don't really understand why they're fixated on a certain part of the project. And we want to do great things. They want us to do great things. All of the intentions are there. But so much of having an amazing experience is about understanding what went into it. If you go to an amazing restaurant, let's say you go to a world-class restaurant and you actually get a chance to see the kitchen, you actually get a chance to hear from the chef the thinking that went into it, or your waiter is talking about the daily special and they're sharing this story about the fact that it's local and that you know the fish is the catch of the day and how they've infused flavors together. They are painting a picture of what you can expect when you have this meal and all of the thinking and everything that went into it. If all they do is just say, you know, catch of the day, here's your, here's your uh, fish. It's a terrible experience. I don't know what to say about that. What you want is the story. You want the thinking. You want the understanding. You want to know the love and the care that went into it because that will bring so much more meaning 
to everything that you do. No one understands how much effort, how much care, and how much time you put into it. No one will value it unless if you share that information with them. And ultimately, no one will respect your pricing, the value you drive, the, the very budgets that you command, unless if you take the time to actually share this with them. This is on you. It's a skill that you need to get better at. And so how do you do that? First, start thinking about the things that you actually do. R right now, you do tons and tons of work and you don't even think about it because it's second nature to you. But to outsiders, it might be really interesting. So first, start to list out and think about all the things that you do, all the thinking that you put into it, all the time that goes into it, the number of people who touch it. Second, start to think of whether this would be interesting in any way to a client. If it's mundane, if it's average, if it's meat and potatoes, if anyone in the industry does it, don't bother talking about it. But if it's a different perspective, a different way of thinking, a different way of going about it, start to think about whether there's any interest from the client in sharing that. Start to figure out what it is that you do and what it is that connects with the client. Think about like, like mid-project meetings or updates. Think about status reports. Think about project debriefs at the end of the project. Here's what happened. Start to share this information through a storytelling way and see what connects. You know, like I talk, I talk to my team about like getting the client to lean forward. There are times in conversations when the client is relaxed or guarded or kind of set back. And then there are times where they get excited enough to actually lean forward. They lean forward in their chair. They, they start to sit up a little bit straighter. They are really, really interested in what it is you're saying. Take notice of that and then focus on that in the next conversation. You need to repeat this over and over again. You need muscle memory. You need to practice what you say and how you say it and what works and what doesn't work because over time you will become an amazing storyteller. You will start to become comfortable sharing these details with people. You'll start to reveal more mistakes that you may have been along the way or I was thinking this and what I didn't realize is this is actually the answer and you know I'm a little embarrassed to tell it to you but but I came into the project thinking it was going to be left. It turns out it was right. What an amazing uh, find that we had. And the client can say, we, we always knew it was going to be right. Why the hell would you have thought it was going to be left? Or they might say, yeah, you know what? That's really interesting. Or I never thought of that. You have to drive value by sharing everything it is that you're doing for them. Not in mundane detail, but in the most important, impactful, and interesting elements to the project. That's your job. That's on you. And the more that you do that, the more your customers will actually come to value your services, your offering, your product. Don't stay shallow. Don't stay surface level. Don't say the things that everyone else talks about. Be revealing. Be a little bit vulnerable. Talk about the bumps along the way and what you're proud of and what you're excited about and how uh, thrilled you are with the way it turned out. Bring an authentic energy to this and clients will soon start to really gravitate towards you. You're gonna get better at this. And then that day is gonna come, you call up the client and they are thrilled to hear your voice. They are excited because they know it's about to be one of the most fun conversations they have all day. I have clients who look forward to meeting with us because it's the only creative thing they get a chance to do that day. For them, they say, this isn't work, this is play. I love these meetings because you have me thinking in such interesting and, and unique ways. Oh, I didn't know that's what went into it. You have to be a storyteller. You have to share what it is you do, what it is you're thinking about, what makes it unique, and why the client should care about it. And then if they care about it, awesome. And if they don't, stop sharing that story. Come up with something they do care about. You do this and you're gonna get referrals, you're gonna increase your sales, you're gonna get raving fans. Let me know if you struggle with storytelling. I really wanna know. I wanna know your tips, your tricks, the secrets you use to have fans fall in love with you. And like always, I want you to think big, I want you to be bold, and I want you to say yes. Don't say, sh <laughs> backing up and talking is hard. Here's your, here's your uh, fish. That's, I don't know, that's a terrible experience. <laughs> if growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.